Welcome, one and all, to Fire Emblem Three Houses. Oh, the music is really good right now. I hope there's a way to actually tweak audio settings, because Nintendo's pretty bad about that. Well, I have been excited for this game ever since they teased it. I have not updated it, probably should have, but I didn't. Any button, here we go. New game. Uh, normal. Casual, because I'm a scrub. Uh... Not today. Not today. I have not decided on a house yet. So I'm going to let Lady Luck decide. Oh, I have a little dice roller app. Imperial Year 1901. Huh? Jesus. We have a badass in the field. Good God, this is intense. She is having none of your shit. You do not hurt a lady, because she will hurt you. Tell me, Nemesis, do you recall the Red Canyon? Oh. You'll die! 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 You took everything that I loved! Wow! I think that's the first time they've ever shown blood in a Fire Emblem game. He's gone now, Mother. I mean, blatantly, not just subtly. Got to be an uncomfortable chair. It's like a dragon kin. Manakeet, maybe? Oh, my. What could have brought you here? GameStop pre order? In here. Oh good, there's full voice acting. That's going to make it a lot easier for me. It is most rude to interrupt a moment of repose. <sighs> Very rude indeed. My sincerest apologies, young dragonkin. Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. Okay. Select a form. Okay, there's character creator. Oh, there's a Celtic rune on the dread on the back of that. I love Celtic imagery. If you could not be a wavery guess. A Celtic rune on the back of his as well. Huh? Do I want to go male or female? 
I'll tell you what. I'm going to roll the dice. If it's a one, two, or a three, I'll pick the male form. A four, five, or a six, I'll pick the female form. And da 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 da. A two. Male it is. Hmm, I have not seen the likes of you before. Who are you anyway? I'm a ghost. I'm a demon. I am a mortal. I see. Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. And apparently the default name is Byleth. I ain't gonna be going with that. Well, my name is Jonathan, but I'll be going with Seraph. Yes. Huh. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. Right. You must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? Uh... I was born on September 8th. Apparently the horsebow moon. Well, wonders never cease. It seems we share our day of birth. How strange. Does she always say that or is that just a coincidence? feels so familiar. I think it may be time for yet another nap. It is almost time to begin. Uh, in the lore, dragons would always put themselves to sleep to keep themselves from falling to their animalistic instinct. Hey, time to wake up. Are okay. you having a dream again? Sure. I was dreaming about a young girl. You've described her to me before. I don't think I've ever met anyone like that. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. It really isn't. Risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. And a surefire way to make sure I don't get paid. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Of course. Hmm? Oh, good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What's happened? Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you okay. with the situation not dire. Here we have three houses. I think this is where I choose my house. What do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. I will if you lend your coin. Bandits? Here? It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. You are a beautiful young woman. We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives, not to mention our gold. I like the sound of gold, and you're the leader of the Golden Deer. I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. I... Wait, that uniform... Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn, there were a lot of them. I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon this village now. No, we can't. Let's kick some ass. Come on, let's move. Hope you're ready. I'm also going to use the dice roll on choosing a house. Okay. Seriously? Sure, I'll put the file there. A skirmish at dawn. Prologue. An inevitable encounter.
Player phase. Let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village. Take down the enemies in front first. That should take the wind out of their sails. Mo yeah, I know how movement works. Oh. Combat bow. Bows attack from long range, although their hit rate is reduced as range increases. They are highly effective against flyers like Pegasus, knights, and wyvern riders. Cool. Ready and willing. Oh, I can just attack him from right here. Never mind. There isn't a true weapon. Oh, great. There's weapon durability. I don't... I'm not fond of that. Oh, I you're an axe prevail. wielder. You had more of a mage look to you. Now, as I was saying, the weapons triangle is gone. Witness my power. They have a different system. You learn experience through combat and techniques to overcome your opponents. Use the battle menu to create bookmarks, saves, and view tutorial guides, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I get this much. This is your basic tutorial. So the lance through. wielder. Wait. Stay focused. Oh dear God. Talk. Oh, I can talk to you these have folk. have a strange aura about you. Huh. You say you're a mercenary, so show me what you can do. Very well. Thank you. We are in your debt. It wouldn't do for us to fall in a place like this. Please, lend us your strength. Let's work together to drive out these thieves. I'll kick their asses. Enemy phase. Ally phase. Player phase. We'll advance while protecting ourselves from the enemy. Take up position inside the forest. Terrain effects. Certain terrain have effects on occupying it. Force, for instance, raise the evasion and defense. Good to know. Let's talk to Claude It's because here. of you guys that I'm not dead right now. Thanks for that. You're welcome. I didn't expect to run into mercenaries like you in some remote village. The gods of fortune must be smiling on me. That would be where you would run into mercenaries, you know. Oh, wait a second. That puts me in a, their attack range. Oh my god, that is so cool. That also puts me in their attack range. But... Yes, good. If we're in the forest, we can sustain their attacks without losing the advantage. Good to know. And I can even see other units on the field of battle. I quite like that. Stand down. Looks like I got a grip. Damn, that's Over cool. Already. I like the art style. I'm really into this art style. This is a fine opportunity. It's the combat arts I taught you. Combat arts. Combat arts are powerful techniques that use more weapon durability than usual. They do not typically allow follow-up attacks. Okay, it's a risk-reward system. Uh, combat arts. Wrath strike. That's that cool. Not it. I suppose it is. That's interesting. It was a good try. 
Using items. Yeah, I know how items work. Thank you. They're gonna work like any other Fire Emblem game with items. Damn! Why are there mercenaries in the village? Guess we'll have to deal with them too. That's why there's mercenaries in the village. Because of the likes of you. That's the exact place you would expect to find a cell sword, or a bunch of them in this case. And you can... And that's how I can see the enemy's attack range. Uh, right trigger. There was a way to go into a, this weird third person I saw in one of the trailers. I think I prefer this overhead look, though. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you where you stand! I doubt it. I gotta have to pull Dimitri out. Attack when an ally is nearby, and the enemy will be intimidated making them easier to hit. Okay, good. There's length attacks. Good. And it builds support up. Use caution. I don't like you. I could have used that hit, you know. Battle, a chance to grow. Something tells me the player character isn't going to be the As most expected. interesting unit to use, but I personally think that's going to be okay because this is we meant to be. All do our part. This must, it's meant to be your character. I kind of wish there was more room for customization, you know, hair, eye color. But my name's good enough, I suppose. You, Gerald the Blade Breaker? What's a renowned mercenary like you doing here? Mercenary things? I'm the one who should be complaining. I'm caught up in the mess you started. <laughs> be mindful. Cut through. Oh, they've got combat arts too. Hey, That's what I want to see. Out of my way. You're gonna regret that. And there's another level. 
pretty good step levels. Forward. Yeah. And I got an iron axe from that. A dagger? What the? Why would you take a blow like that? That doesn't make much sense. Honestly, what are you accomplishing with that little stunt? It's like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. <sighs> what the That's hell? Fine. After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> Well then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? Who are you? You can call me Sothis. Sothis. But I'm also known as the Beginning. Okay. Hmm. Sothis. Yes, that is it. My name is Sothis, and I am also called the Beginning. But who once called me that? You're an amnesiac, of course. What are you talking about? I was not able to recall my name until just now. And just like that, it came to me. How odd. Oh, that sounds familiar. <laughs> Awakening. <laughs> that look upon your face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? You're clearly a dragonkin with those ears. Phooey! That child's just saved your life. And what does that make you? A 20-something nerd. You're old nerd. I am no child. And I resent being <laughs> treated as Such one. Such arrogance. You look the part, but are you truly an adult? Well, I am 23, so yes. You threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. Thank you. There now. Is gratitude so much to ask? I did deem you worth saving after all. I know when to show gratitude. And I know not to question things I do not understand when it comes to magical dragon girls. Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. However did I manage that? What will happen when time resumes? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. But I have an opportunity to prepare. <sighs> How rude of you to drag me into this. Now what to do? Turn back the hands of time. Of course. I must turn back the hands of time. Yes, I do believe it can be done. You really are quite troublesome. I've been called worse. I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. Now go. Yes, you who bears the flames within. Drift through the flow of time to find the answers that you seek. The flames within? I don't understand. Actually, I think you'll die. Hey, over here! Huh? Hey, did you just... The Knights of Seros are here! We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. You're a little tardy to the party. Hey, 
The thieves are running away. Go after them. Well, their leader is dead, so... The students seem to be unharmed. And who's this? Call me Seraph. Uh, why him? I take it we have a history with this guy. A skirmish at dawn. I was the most valuable person. Well, I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Well, that... you know what? When it comes to the first episode, it's easy enough to start over. Oh no, that's my autosave file. Okay, that makes sense. I'll put it here. I'm hoping it's just gonna let me. Captain Gerald? Ah, it is damn it. You. Goodness, it's been ages. That it has. Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Alois? Okay. Oh, it must have been. 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. He probably ran away from you. You haven't changed a bit, Alois. Just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days I'm just a wandering mercenary. One who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, captain. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Of course. Garrig Mock Monastery. <sighs> I suppose this was inevitable. I like this guy. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? No. At least I don't think so. Oh, I'm a bandit. <laughs> Great sense of humor, this one. Clearly cut from the same cloth as the captain. <laughs> I'd love for you to see the monastery, too. You will join me, won't you? I'm gonna pass. <sighs> oh, sure, Trouble, why not, captain? Then. You aren't about to run off again, are you? That is exactly what he's going to do. Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. The Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. Oh great! There's a voice in my head. Oh, another one to add to the buzz. Get going. Oh great! That's just it's just another voice inside my head. Be quiet, you! No one asked you. <laughs> Can I please have a stopping point? End of a chapter, please. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. Thank you. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Gerald, the Bladebreaker? Former captain of the Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? I take it that this guy's adopted son, child. I didn't know he was a captain. How curious. I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. Hey. You are coming with us to the monastery, right? Of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers' Academy at Garagmok Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. <laughs> I like this Everything guy. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. So you're a bit of a coward, it seems. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Okay, these two are nobles. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me, naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? <laughs> In any case, forgive our digression. 
I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. Sure. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now, I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Princess? Halt, Edelgard. Please, allow me to finish my own proposition. Edelgard. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please, do consider returning to the Kingdom with me. Okay, I'm guessing this is where I pick a house to support. Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well? Okay. Do I support an empire, a kingdom, or a republic? Here's what I'm going to do. I've got the dice roll app still up. If it lands on a one or a two, I will go with the empire. A three or a four, I will go with the kingdom. A five or a six, I will go with the Lancaster Alliance. And let Lady Luck decide. Da 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 da. A three. Well, Dimitri, you got yourself a mercenary. Understood. Fargus is a noble and distinguished kingdom that has always valued chivalry. All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. I'd say Claw is a pretty interesting fellow. Garden. A refined young woman, but I feel as though she's always evaluating me, okay? And Dimitri. Sincere, a darkness lurking beneath. Yes, I thought the same. Whew. Oh, I may be sleeping, but... Okay, good. I'm going to end this one here. Just here is fine. Thank you all for watching. No, don't, don't continue. Don't continue. Part one. White. Can I please have a stopping Great point? Tree moon. Thank Three you. Houses. Thank you. Can I have a stopping point, please? I think that was my stopping point. I kept going like an idiot. The icy winds of the yep, Atma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodland, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. So we have a kingdom, an empire, and a pseudo-republic. 
interesting. I definitely lean more towards the Republican aim of things. This will be your first time at the monastery. But I let the dice roll. I'd be settle happy my to show problems. you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. Right. The animation work on this is beautiful. I'm going to say that right now. And I know the Nintendo's going to claim this. I know they're going to claim monetary rights there on a video is. that is not monetized. Garrick but, you Mark know. Monastery. Whatever. Actually, no, they might not. Nintendo's getting better about their copyright. I've been really excited for this game. Some accomplished mages. Jiggle physics! That was necessary. A well-endowed teacher. <laughs> Byloth also carries a dagger here. Interesting. Excuse me. I kind of just killed the moment there. I wonder, did the flow of time bring you here? Uh, yes, actually, it did. It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh... Her? You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop. Lady Rhea. Interesting. She's an Archbishop. I think that would be Archbishop. It doesn't matter. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlin are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Gerald. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the Goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. Okay, so they have a history. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? I'm gonna guess it's a yes and no situation. Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to Oh no, he actually, the uh, Ryleth is the son of Gerald. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? My name is Sarah. A fine name indeed. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officers' Academy. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. Am I gonna get to do some run around now? Ah, <sighs> I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. Okay. I must work here. As a mercenary or as a servant? Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officers Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. I don't think I'm fit to teach anyone. 
And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Who, me? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. And watch out for Lady Rhea. I don't know what she's thinking making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Right. Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. I suppose that's a good point. I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officer's Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. You're a songstress? Of course. Before I came here, I belonged to a renowned opera company. Perhaps you've heard of me? The Middle Franc Opera Company is beautiful, peerless. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuel. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. Yes, that would be Dimitri's. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you really not know? Fine. I'll do you a favor and explain. EXPOSITION! The Officers' Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. Or Empress in this case, but it's the same difference. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And who I am representing. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. <coughs> Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next Emperor King and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm, quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. You'll need have you it. no gotcha. intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... I agree with you. I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. You have a fair point. Zedith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot who ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. That's an interesting point, and I actually agree with this Seteth guy. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. 
I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Can I please have a stopping point? I don't want this video going on too long. Game. Not a cutscene. There's Claude's group. Eligard's group. She seems to be an interesting, uh, a well accomplished spellcaster. Dimitri's group. And there's our Archbishop. Of course. Okay, and I can explore the castle. B and Y's naval dash. Plus and minus, zoom in and out. And right stick moves the camera. Okay. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses as I begin my life as a teacher in a military academy. I'm sensing a trend with the games I've been playing. <laughs>